Oh, the cabbage! The cabbage! How was so much cabbage stuffed into the sea? Oh. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are checking out the third wave of Minecraft Treasure X character boxes. This time we've got sand and sea. Badland sand or stretchy seaweed, what could it be? And of course, a hunt for real gold dipped Minecraft treasure and some other oddities inside. Great series so far, they're humming quite along and now we are going to dive into the sea or fall into the sand. So join us as we begin our hunt for more gold dipped treasure. So it's Badlands Sand or Stretchy Seaweed. Stretchy Seaweed, that looks really interesting. Mine Discover Craft. Of course, Aqua Stick is back, even though I don't typically Aqua Stick everything together. And then there are the 10 levels of adventure. Let's get inside. I'm curious what the crafting tool will be this time around, the X Tool crafting tool. Mine Discover Craft, there's our table. And what are we gonna start with, sand? or seaweed. I think it's gonna be sand. So we have a dirt block this time, or maybe sand. Inside our crafting table we will find a return to the diamond pickaxe, which is too bad. I kinda was hoping we would see either a diamond sword this time or a diamond axe. We've got more aqua stick hearts, and we have our guide. Let's see what we're gonna be looking for this time. So we are sort of themed with the aquatic expansion pack of years ago. We're looking for the golden armor Steve, which is rare, and swimming characters like swimming Alex and swimming Steve. Dolphin, Guardian, Turtle, and Axolotl round up the top. So some very interesting watery things. And then I guess we go to the sands with the Zombie Villager, Pig with a Saddle, Red Sheep, Enderman, Skeleton with Pumpkin Head, and Exploding Creeper. And we're going to be looking for the real gold spyglass. That's a really unique and clever piece. I'd love to find a spyglass of gold. That would be like a total display item. And we are still looking at 1 in 24 packs contain real gold dipped treasure, so the odds are pretty tricky. And then we are also going to look for the rare, the sea lantern, and the TNT. Then once again the 10 levels of adventure with this one digging into the sand or the sea. And then aqua stick uh, your characters together, build them, display them. And Landry's really eager for me to get inside this sand. I'm curious too what the sand compound will be like. So we open up the top and there a sandy cover awaits us. Interesting. It's not the hard plastic we usually see. Are we supposed to break through this or is there a layer below that? So let's give it a try with our diamond pickaxe. Pops like a balloon. And we are seeing inside already some sandy, kind of a fun mixed consistency to play with. You know, kind of looks tasty, like some sort of chocolatey rocky road ice cream. I, I wonder. No, not ice cream. May contain motion loam. Badland sand, do not eat. I like that it's really kind of swirly together though, that's fun. I wonder if they placed a cover on that to keep it fresher, as if the plastic may have let too much air in from the past. We've got chunks of sand, and our first character, is this a zombie? This could be the zombie villager, yeah, I see a zombie villager to build. And more fun surprises. So I will try to build up without aqua sticking. Aqua sticking is fun, but I kind of like my characters as puzzle pieces. It's kind of fun to have a big tray bin full of these and then rebuild them over and over again. When you aqua stick them, they tend to be kind of forever. But on aqua sticking, we can build some pretty cool guys. Let's get this guy's head on and the face plate. Some of them hold together almost as if you don't even need those hearts, but it just depends. Others crumble apart. Zombie villager looking good, and I think the treasure was spoiled. The shovel just fell right out of the chest. That would be where the gold dip treasure would be. So we're gonna start with the zombie. Let's look closer at this compound really quick. And it looks like Barry really likes it. Barry always likes to roll in the sand. Must be soothing to the fur. He perhaps has some chinchilla in him. So there is our compound. Just more sand again we've seen before, but with this really cool swirl to it. Of course, the more you play with this and pull apart, the more the red 
and the uh, tan are going to mix together and eventually you'll have some sort of color in between the two. So we don't want to mix them up too much, do we? But it always is so, so satisfying. Okay, and then a quick cleanup on table five. Drop everything into the bin, close up our box, display away. And one more time at the zombie villager design. They've got a fun statuesque look to them. They don't really move about. I wish there were, could be a little articulation, kind of like the treasure hunters of Treasure X. I really kind of wish they went the way of the Treasure X hunter figure. I think it would have been more fun long term. These are just more of a displayable option. They're kind of tricky to play around with. They're certainly fun to build though. I like building. It's fun to find the different pieces in the compound. So I'll slide our first find back and we can hopefully maybe find some seaweed, right? I don't think Landry wants to find the seaweed. What do we got in here? And the mystery content is more sand. I think last time we were really heavy on the snow blocks and very light on the amethyst ooze. I hope we find a lot of seaweed. Opening up our container and misplacing my X tool. Well, we got another crafting table. Opening up, we're gonna have plenty of heart bags. Can you peer inside and see what we will find? I think it's safe to say we have found a red dyed sheep in there. The second sheep of the series? I think there was a yellow sheep in series two. Now we have a red. A red sheep. With a little bit of sand on its eyes. Oh no! Just imagine being trapped in here for months with a sand in your eyes. Ah! Well, this wasn't spoiled this time, so that's good. More of this really great sand. This brown spotted cow sand. And of course, our cute little sheep, build a sheep. Feels like the animal mobs of this series are really ultra cute. There's our body. And there is another part of the body. And our head. No, the other way. And our head. Got it. This one pieced together really quite lovely. It's gonna hold together, I think, without any hearts. Usually it's the head, the most susceptible to topple on over. All right, sheep, are you going to reward us with gold dip treasure? Will you reward us or? Oh, mutton. There's nothing but mutton in here. Piece of sheep meat, I believe. That side more paintedly fine. Somewhere on the tops of these, yeah, if I spin this around like this, we can display your item up in front, which usually falls off and gets lost. It's a cute find though. It's funny, it's kind of a muted red sheep. It's not the most brightest red color sheep ever. May have just been out in the sand too much. But that's our uh, sheep with mutton. Display our X tool up top and we can go on to another Badland sand or stretchy seaweed. I'm pretty sure everyone would like to see an axolotl today. I'd like to see a dolphin or maybe a guardian. That would be fun. Or maybe, how about like 10 more red sheep? How about that? And the anticipation grows. There's our guide, a crafting table, and... Oh, it's blue! It's watery blue! We have discovered the depths of the ocean with the salty sea. The salty sea! I like how the cover of the block is a translucent blue. That's quite pretty. The others do not have that effect, I believe. So that's kind of a watery block. I like that cover. Opening and we've got the sand on top too. So we are on the beach. We are on the beach and we are going to be digging and I've lost another X tool. Let's get this out here. More hearts, more potions. If you use the aqua stick, there's the potion bottles. I think you probably got the idea by now. The aqua stick uh, just glues together with water. I'm trying to decide if this is as satisfying as the plastic cover. It does make that cool pop, but it doesn't crumble like it did before. That's too bad. Ooh, what do we got? So this is stretchy seaweed, eh? And it's kind of wet and gooey. And here I thought I'd have a clean day. Oh, oh my. This is not going to be a clean day. Um, so we're pulling out some seaweed right now and it's very doodly. And I'm gonna give it 10 points for being a new idea from Moose and their compounds, adding in some noodles. I wonder if it's leftover uh, gujitsu filling 
for a character. It could have easily been placed inside someone. Oh, that is terrifically yummy. That's gotta be delicious. And if you see what's falling out, it could either be a yellow duck, and since we do not see yellow ducks in Minecraft very often, it probably is gonna be an axolotl, and there it is. Oh, it's so cute, it's like looking right at us. But, it's gonna be needing uh, some cleanup. And as you can see, the noodles are everywhere, covered in blue liquid. Oh boy. And there's our treasure. Bloop. A lot of noodles there. What? What is this? Ugh. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, yeah. So these noodles, what can I tell you about them? They're kind of like, they're plastic, but they're springy and soft and a little bit stretchy. They got some stretch to them. I think I'll have to clean them up. I mean, you could probably leave them in this watery ooze. You could probably repack into that box, but you're gonna destroy some fine tapestries at your house. Oh no! And that's never good, especially if you're at grandma's and she's got the fine tapestries, usually more than everybody, and the fine crystal. And she's not gonna want the fine crystal filled with this, <laughs> these noodles. They're quite interesting though. This is a great new idea. Uh, for the compound to add something in there, especially as wiggly and as silly as these. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna build our axolotl. If I can touch my camera now, because I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I've removed all the slime from our seaweed. I really wanted to see what the seaweed would be like without it. It is funny, it is spongy, it is springy, and there's about maybe 20 of them in there. They're quite a bit of fun. Then we got an axolotl, let's build an axolotl. The yellow, almost like a duck. But Quackers is not a duck. And Quackers is not a cat. Quackers is an axolotl. Quackers the axolotl, everybody. Very cute. We did not find or get to see the pink axolotl from series two, so this is the yellow, and I'm assuming probably a repaint or a re-plastic of the same one, right? The pink there in the guide looking pretty, pretty similar to what we just found here. Axolotl, of course, always going to be very popular to find. And then you can hide it in all this seaweed. Where'd the axolotl go? Where'd it go? I wonder. Nope, not edible. So what do we have for our treasure? Our axolotl's treasure opening up. There's still a little bit of water slime in here. Never able to clean it all up. What is this? Ah, it's a bucket of axolotl. So if you want to transport your axolotl, get a bucket, throw them in. I forget how to do it, but it's doable. Some of the items with this series are really kind of unique stuff we've never seen before in collecting Minecraft. But this one, this one was probably the messiest of messy. Um, definitely want to rinse out these, or I suppose you could leave the slime in and just keep it soupy. Eventually that slime will dry. There's not enough in there to really hold for a long time. Just ask Mr. Snowman, I think. Is it Mr. Snowman? Inside he's got some slime still. Oh, that actually has some pretty good consistency still. I think I poured everything in and kept it all in there. Ooh. Well, that's just great. Um, oh, it wasn't Snowman. It was Mr. Zombie. Mr. Zombie? He had some slime left over, and it has since dried out. So, if you ever ask me about the slime consistency of Mr. Zombie, well, it has dried out years ago. Okay, so there's that, and we can place our axolotl on top as a display. Love the transparent cover, though. I gotta say that a few times. Oh, we didn't aqua stick. I'm gonna have to pick one of these to aqua stick today. And that is our very cute axolotl. Let's place back here, start replacing the olds with the news. Gotta decide how many we test out today, how brave I am to continue after that last seaweed incident. If it was all seaweed, I could just pile them all together. That might work. What do we got with this round? It's another sand. That's good news, I like sand. Of course, our chances of repeat now are increasing. Only left would be the pig, Enderman, a skeleton, pumpkin skeleton, and exploding creeper. So the odds are 
slowly dwindling. Let's crack open, or should I say smash pop open. And I see some more of that delicious, delicious, nutritious ice cream, which really wasn't delicious at all. Mm, I may have a skeleton in here. What do you think? What do you think it could be? I see a little bit of a gray foot, which could indicate skeleton. Clumpy, clumpy sand. <laughs> ah! That actually kind of scared me. That was like a spider just jumping out. Yeah. So it's the skeleton with pumpkin head. Now, if you're thinking we've seen this one before, series one did have the uh, snow golem. And that's what I'm kind of remembering as we had found one of those at one time. Oh, oh the treasure kind of got spoiled. It is an arrow. These treasure boxes, unfortunately, really easy to pop open. They might already even been popped open in box. So we'll build our guy here. And I think this one might be one to aqua stick. That feels pretty loose. Let's do an aqua stick now. We have not done one yet. So let's find some hearts. So we start by placing all the tiny hearts into our character, which is always very satisfying. Usually top and bottom on the torso, somewhere under the headpiece there. Oh, and back there, I was like, where is his head? Where did his head go? Okay, all set. Now we can aqua stick, so we have some water. And we get some of water into treasure bottle, potion bottle, I should say. And that just squeezes and sucks up some water. You do not need much water at all. That is a cool thing about it. And so then, just a tiny drop, just a tiny little drop. Or maybe three. Three drops, pretty good. And then line up your puzzle piece. And I usually like to hold down for Oh, 10 seconds maybe, five to 10 seconds. Give it that pressure hold. That helps a lot. I have a scratch on my table. I think this table's about to finally go. I'm gonna have to start looking at options for a new table. And drop some more. And this character, which direction does this go? Oh, okay, this has to go this way. But then which way? This way? Probably that way. So we'll do that for another 10 seconds. Actually, we can be proactive. It's holding down at the same time. So one, two, give that a lot. Let me give that a little extra. And our great pumpkin head, very similar to that we've seen before. And squeeze down. And I'm giving it a ton of pressure right now. That seems to help. I've kind of not done that before and then the character will slowly fall apart over time. Give him an arrow to hold on to, and we've got our pumpkin skeleton. Kind of a fun, strange mob to see today with the uh, water pack. Kind of shocking that there really isn't a drowned, right? We should be seeing a drowned in this collection with a trident. That's kind of like a mist. Opportunity, very weird. While we are on the subject of hearts, the Candy Sweetheart Coercion Part 5. The squirrels beam in mysteriously. Welcome. Welcome. We have, we have again, again been, been monitoring, monitoring your, your situation. situation. Mysterious blue and white squirrel. Your skirmish, your skirmish with the Candy, candy Sweethearts is complicated. Is complicated. Yummy, yummy, yummy. With, much with much coincidence, coincidence we are near their, their home, home planet. planet and can send a transmission to ease this misunderstanding. Great oak trees, you're boiling their brains. Stop now, stop. Oops. Hmm, it appears our equipment needs some fine tuning. Well, I'm sure you'll think of something. We will send you home. To be continued. And so sand back into the box. You can remove this if you want or keep on. Usually at the end of this, I will just take all my sand and gather it together into one box. That's so much easier. Seems to last longer too. Oop, almost fell apart. 
And we've now completed, I think, half of the sand collection. Sand is winning now three to one. And I'm okay with that because as much as seaweed is awesome, it is so difficult. Okay, we'll do a couple more maybe, a couple more. We gotta find at least a couple more characters, a couple more chances at gold. Last time, if you had watched our dino gold, the new eggs, we did finally get gold treasure, so I'm pretty good for now. If you wanna check that out, the video's linked up there, or I always say that and then forget, but check that video out. Uh-oh, oh no, here we go again. It's time to dive back into the deep ocean. I think maybe we should take this on location to the Squirrel Stampede Slop Sink. What do you think? We can just like rinse this out without spilling it onto the table. Ugh. E. I guess we gotta first remove this cover. And it is slimy. I had the hardest time removing this cover from the other one. Let's go from the side. There it is. There's our friends, the seaweed. Our seaweed friends. And, not sure who we have though. It's a mystery, it's a total mystery. Oh, that's disgusting. Abs, oh gosh. It doesn't wanna let go, and it, like my finger's like. <laughs> involuntarily like spasming as I try to pull that off because it's so sli slippery. Okay, got it. And we're gonna peer inside, and then we are going to go on a field trip. Um. This could be Alex. I think this is an Alex. Yeah, I see orange on her head. All right, so let's head to the sink. Trust me, it's just better this way. So we're gonna just turn the sink on, get some warm water going, and rinse these out. If Treasure X wanted to recreate doing the dishes, they may have just succeeded. The slime comes off the seaweed pretty easy. Slime does not come off the figures very easy. And I think we've got everything ready to go. Okay, back to the table. Okay, so we've found our Alex, and some more seaweed, and we can build Alex. It'll be easy to tell which series this is from because she is swimming. She's on a little water pad there. Just her head to place on. We've got her body mostly built, all ready to go, just on that floaty water stand. And then, of course, we'll drop on her hair. There's still a little bit of slime in there. Maybe that'll hold it together. And it's Alex. Then for a nice little pretty feature, you know, you put the seaweed around her like that. Ooh. And you've got Alex swimming about in the aquatic zone looking for various colorful coral, spiky fish, and other treasures, maybe a trident. Again, we need a trident, right? Well, maybe inside this chest, right? What do we got? So swimming Alex comes with a... Ugh. A very, very disgusting looking axe. We'll just leave that inside for now. Fun to see Alex, but it would also be fun if uh, we could start seeing uh, some moose designed creation skins. That would be fun. They could even include them in gameplay. Doesn't always have to be Alex and Steve. I'd love to see a Treasure X version of a Minecraft character skin, right? Well, we are now looking at two to three. Two to three on sand versus seaweed. And I have a couple more to check out. Let's keep going. We're on Good Luck Street right now, so kind of want to keep seeing if we can find new characters. Maybe that elusive dolphin or even that golden Steve. And I think we've got my friend. My friend Sand has come back. Sand now four to two, four to two. Curious if it's 50-50 balanced or if Sand has a heavier favorite. We certainly found a lot of snow over Amethyst Ooze. And cracking open. And who do you think? Who do you think? Reminds me of the Mesa biome inside. Oh. Could it be? Could it be? <gasps> Creeper! 
An exploding creeper, exploding creeper. And cool for me, I never found a creeper in series one. And this is a refresh of it, just in translucent green. So my first Treasure X creeper, let's give it a few hearts. It's gotta have a couple hearts in there. And so we build our creeper. Which direction? It's looking down kind of funny. So this way, and I see the little notch there. It has this kind of weird look down, which yeah, I'm not a big fan of the look down because you can't really see its face very well. Very similar to the wolf pup that we saw in series two, looking down. Kind of hard to see what it's looking at, its facial expression uh, as it's looking down. So I don't know. It's good to see a creeper though, and I like the transparency. That looks really cool. So there's our creeper finally, and Treasure for the creeper. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Anybody? What is that? A creeper will typically drop some gunpowder, maybe a music disc. I don't know what this is. Is it a lever? It's sticking up pretty straight. What is a lever? I don't know what this is. Is it the obvious and I'm just not seeing it? So that's what comes with the creeper. That's why he's looking down. He's like, oh, that's what that is. But I don't know what it is. Someone tell me what that is. It's another good find though for this series. I like the creeper. Anytime I find something new and unique, I'm quite happy about it. Throw in the sand. We'll mix that up a little later. And we add. Okay, what else do we got here? Hopefully C will kind of take a rebound, but on the other hand, that's a lot of cleanup. So what do we got? More seaweed or more sand? More sand! Of course, all we have left now in sand is possibly a pig or an enderman to find, so really high likelihood of repeat. I think I see something green in there. This could be our first repeat. And it is a creeper! That ran pretty good this time before we hit a repeat. See, Here we go again. We're still looking for a dolphin, a guardian, a turtle. Swimming Steve. Oh, it bubbled. It bubbled. I don't know what's easier. It looks like it's, it's spent its time upside down for a while. All the slime is up top. This is where the magic happens, people. This is the magic of the seaweed. Yum. And, oh, I think it's a turtle. Shh, we don't want to scare it. Be very quiet. We don't want to scare it if it's a turtle. It is. It's got to be the turtle. This is a great find. A sea turtle. Oh, oh, I want to see this and the sea turtle, but it's so messy. Yeah, so, so messy. But there we've got a turtle to build. Yeah. He's stuck. Oh, it's the display base, that's why. There we go. Oh, very nice. Well, let's clean this turtle up and build away. It feels like the turtle would be the top pick for the sea side of the collection. There's our turtle and some seaweed cleaned up. It's so springy. And we've got our cute little turtle on a display pad. And this is kind of a funny sectional piece here. You don't almost really need it. There's the body of the turtle. I mean, you need it, but it's kind of, uh, it would have been more fun maybe if the head placed in, I suppose. The animal mobs are just the best fun in this collection, I believe. They're cute and playful, they're fun displayable things, and a theme well with the seaweed. It can also hide within the seaweed as Alex swims about. What do we got? The turtle's going to have something interesting, I betcha. And it is full of water. It looks like, is that uh, seaweed kelp? Underwater grass? I don't get down to the depths of the ocean too much to collect some of these items, so that's kind of what it is. You can help me in the comments with the official name on that one. Well, I have two more boxes to risk, and I think I'm gonna go for it. I was maybe gonna hold some for a short or something. I could always open them again on a short uh, if it's a repeat, so maybe it will play with that idea. I want to see if the sea can catch up to the sand. <gasps> and it just might, we've got another sea. We've got another sea. And before we open the next, let's check out this one. So this is our final box. That way if I get two seas at once, we can kind of clean them up together. 
And what do you know? It's our second C. Our second C in a row. So that today brings our total to five C's and five sands. We're perfectly balanced. All right, we'll start with this one. I think that's the one I opened first. And inside we will find a lot of slime. It may just be easier to open these from the corner. Because once you dig in with the ax, oh boy, watch out. And I think it's another turtle. Look at that, two turtles in a row. I think, unless it's a, it could be Steve's hat. So it could be a turtle shell hat. I think it's a turtle shell hat, actually. Oh, I, I wasn't planning, it. yeah, it's Steve. All right, Steve has made it to the building. Let's see if I can get his head out of there. All right, so there's Steve, woohoo! Steve has been found. There's his block of treasure and his turtle shell helmet. I thought it was a turtle at first. Yeah, ah, uh, okay, so luckily I saved this other one to do at the same time. That way I can keep my, my hands free. And like I said earlier, I wonder if I can just peel back this. This is the best way to stay clean. If you can, well, sort of clean. Take this off first and, is that another Steve? Oh no, it's another turtle. So we pulled a second turtle. A repeat of turtle. So, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Clean this up time and we'll see what we got. And all cleaned up, we have a double dose of dinner. We've got our Steve who's ready to float in the seaweed. Pretty much like Alex, we're gonna drop a head down on top of him and then his cool turtle shell helmet. And then of course we pulled our second turtle of the day. I don't mind having a couple of these. In fact, the double creeper wasn't a bad thing either today. So pretty good run today. Treasures, I think I got them mixed up, but I don't think it matters. I think we'll figure out who's who's pretty quick. Steve has a trident. There's the trident. I didn't notice that earlier. We could have had a drowned, but Steve with the trident is a good find. And a little more seaweed in that one. No gold dip treasure today, unless inside this creeper box there was gold. I, I highly doubt, we'll check just in case. And inside here we had, yeah, another one of those things. I, I, I just don't know what that is. It's like a little marker on the map. I, I don't know what that's trying to tell me. Collection wise though, we found a lot of great things. Oh wow. All together now, the stretchy seaweed is so satisfying. Just listen to it. And that is Badland Sand and Stretchy Seaweed Blocks of Minecraft, the third series of character blocks from Minecraft Treasure X. A pretty good series, what do you think? If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamit, your favorite character you have found or would like to find. Thank you so much for watching, that's what I have to say about that.